Hello, my name is Danny with Wild Weasel Designs, and today we are doing another Photoshop tutorial. So today we are going to learn how to take something out of a template or remove this white border that you see around. So all of my designs for Tumblrs come pre-templated to print 11 by 8.5. Basically what you'll do is you will open a new window in whatever software you like of choice. You'll size it to 11 by eight and a half. Make sure that landscape is on. I always make sure I have a transparent background and I hit create. So now this is the perfect size. You know that this is going to print an 11 by an eight and a half. Now what we'll do is we'll come, we'll find our design. We'll just select it and drop it in and now it is sized perfectly so I know that I print this this is going to print at an 11 by eight and a half and I'm good to go because it's the right size for a straight skinny 20 ounce tumbler but say I want to resize this to fit a different tumbler like a 12 ounce kids or a 15 ounce straight so I'm gonna need to take off this border so that I can either put it in a different template or I can resize it if I know what dimensions I'm using. We'll hop back over to this one for right now for the first part of this tutorial. So this is one of my older templates and you see it doesn't have a black background around it. It's just the white. But if we go over to this one, it's got that black background. So I'm going to show you how to deal with both of those. So my first method that I like to use is the magic wand tool right here. It's the little, uh, little sparkly wand, some little stars going on. It comes with a lot of options, but the only one we're really going to talk about today in regards to removing is tolerance. So tolerance is the range of colors that you'll select by using the magic wand. So right now I have it set to five because all of my white is a pretty solid color but I don't want to grab any white in the design either. So you notice if I hit it, my edges are all selected. It selected all that white and I can go ahead and remove that. But just for the sake of a demonstration, I want to show you what happens if we up our tolerances. So say I take it to 25. See now it's taking part of my design away. It's coming in here a little bit into that white parts of the candy that it's taking out. So I don't want to do that because I don't want to distort my image at all. So that's why you might want to mess around with your tolerances a little bit. I find five is a good number for these my specific templates to remove them. So again I'm going to select it. Now I'm going to hit delete. You can hit delete or backspace either way. But I'm going to hit delete and you see it removed all the white but we still have the text here. So I'm going to hit Control D to get rid of those squiggly lines. And I'm going to go up here to my selection tool. And I'm just going to make a little box around it. And I'll get my squiggly lines back. Hit delete again and Control D to get rid of it. So now I've just got my picture. So I can resize this into a different template. I can shrink it down. I can do whatever I want to it. Now, by going to Edit, Transform, you have the option to transform um, this way, or you can do Free Transform, which is typically what I like to do. You can also get this by hitting Control T, which is your hotkey to transform. Now, <clears throat> I can just go ahead and play with this. I can pull it all kinds of ways. I can do anything I want to it. But... I'm just going to hit Control Z real quick to get back to the original image. If I want to make sure that I maintain my aspect ratio, which is I have the same length to width um, of the design and just want to resize it, then I'm going to go ahead and hit this little chain here. And now when I resize the design, it'll move everything so that I'm not distorting my image at all. That just lets you know... You know, if you just wanted a little bit smaller or, you know, you wanted to bring it up 
um, bigger, but you didn't want to stretch out any part of this design or you know, cause any distortion, that would be how you did it. So now let's pop back over to the fox here. And I'll show you the simple way to do this on the ones that have borders. So this is going to be super easy for the white. You see, I'm just clicking on the white. Again, I'm going to hit delete. Completely forgot. You will need to rasterize when you bring your designs in like this. It'll bring it in as a smart object. So you need to go up here, right click on your design, hit rasterize layer, which is going to turn it into a regular pixel layer. And now you can edit it. So I'm going to hit delete, all right, and then control D so we can see what we're doing. So you see it took out all of the white, it left the little text, and it left the little black bar. So now I just need to make sure that I select the black bar, okay? And again, I'm going to hit delete, and then control D, and now you see we have no black bar around there took all of that out and then again like we did before I'll just go ahead and make a little box and delete and there we go I am out of the template I can resize however I want to I'm good to go now I'm gonna hit control Z a few times to bring up all my original stuff so I can show you method 2 so method 2 is with the selection tool so sometimes you just want to just crop it out like that or you're using a product or a program that doesn't have a magic wand uh, like affinity uh, designer doesn't have an, a magic wand to it but they do have a selection tool so this would be very helpful for that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the corner of my design and I'm just gonna pull this box I'm gonna pull it over so now I have that selected and there's two ways of, of getting it out, of cutting the design out of its original design. You either go up to edit and hit cut. Um, and it shows you your hotkey here is control X. So now I've cut it out of the design. Go ahead and then control V will paste it back in there. Or you can go up to edit and hit paste. And you see I have this little black a uh, black window around here. I could just crop it out. Just making sure I lightly go into it. And there you see it took off that black bar at the top. Um, or you could use the magic wand if you had one. But those are two really easy ways to be able to use a new template and then of course you just get you know if you knew your size you could do it that way you could hit control T and it would bring up your transform tool and then in here this is your width and your height right now it says 100% by 100% because it's set on percentage see that but if you right click right on where it says 100 it brings up this option menu so you could do this by pixels centimeters millimeters but we're going to do inches we're going to do that on both so you see this design is set at a 9.89 by 8.2 inches tall it's a little longer than a standard 20 ounce straight but it does give you room for overlap if you wanted to you could make that smaller but Let's just say we're making a kid's tumbler. And I apologize that I don't know exact dimensions off the top of my head, but we're just going to make something up to give you an idea of how to resize this. Say I need this to be 8 inches wide, and I wanted to keep my aspect ratio, and see it automatically bumped it down to 6.63. Perfect. So now I'm good to go. Or you can just throw this, if you have another template that you're working on, you could throw that into the new template uh, and resize it to fit, and you would be good to go that way too. If you guys had any questions about this video, I see any videos that you want me to do in the future, or just anything in general about sublimation, any questions, please go ahead and shoot me a message or leave me a comment. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you guys in a new video. Thanks and have a great day.